Welcome to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. Here, at the Royal Institute of Technology, we've prepared a challenge for four high school students with the dream to become the next Swedish astronaut. Hi, my name is David. I want to be a physicist. My name is Daria. I'm good at practical things. My name is Elis Gramwald. I am good at problem solving. My name is Amanda. I love to learn about space research. Their challenge is to build an aircraft out of household materials in just 15 minutes. They're certainly going to need some assistance, and we didn't bring just anyone. Hi, I'm Chris Hadfield, astronaut, fighter pilot, test pilot, engineer, recently returned commander of the International Space Station. I flew on the space shuttle five times, starting in 1985 through 1998. He's the only Swede to ever been to space. And one of the most well-known and most professional scientists in the world. Enough chit-chat. Let's get started. Okay, what do we have? We have blue. This looks okay. like we can use for yeah. helium. Have you ever made an aircraft before? No. Me neither. <laughs> okay, if you want to get the glue gun working, I'm going to cut the wing out of this and then we'll make the fuselage out of that. So as long as we have a structure with a wing and a tail for stability. We want the wings uh, to be as large as possible for ma maximum lift, but yep. we also want it to be not that heavy. We might need more than one balloon. <laughs> I think I know what that was. We put wing here. Yeah. And then the elastic can just be attached back here, and this will pull. Houston, we have a problem. Where's the other balloon? Did I just let it go? I love building this airplane. <laughs> it's quite heavy. <laughs> oh, it's too tail heavy. Hey, no, 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 look, look, he's going forward. Oh, it's nice. It does well. This is the best airplane we've ever built together. <laughs> Neither of us really knew anything about flying. Um, I might be an astronaut, but I'm a scientist, not, a, not an aero engineer, so we just, we just gave it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Kids, students, scientists and astronauts all love trying new things and exploring new ideas. Sometimes these curious thoughts spark an innovative idea that totally changes the way we see and experience the world. At Google Science Fair, we live for those ideas. What will you make better?